this one is 2002 AP Physics B FRQ question. Now it is uh, the topic covered in AP Physics uh, 2. Um, so in this question, they say a marine archaeologist looks out the port of a research submarine as shown. The port is uh, spherically shaped with center of curvature at the center at the point C and the radius of curvature R. It is made of a material that has an index of refraction of NW, uh, sub W, the same as the index of refraction of seawater, which is greater than NA, the index of refraction of air. The archaeologist is located um, to the left of point C, and some equipment in this submarine is located behind the archaeologist. The archaeologist can see through the port, but the port also acts as a mirror so the archaeologist can see the reflection of the equipment behind him. So what is the focal length of the mirror? One of the students asked me this in the past and I'm just going to repeat this here as well. So the focal point is the half the length of the center of the radius of the curvature um, so in this case if they give you the radius of the curvature is r um, then the um, the focal point is going to be one half that radius of curvature the locase r and here is the information where they give you the radius then they give you n of the material where the um, the mirror is made of, and then you have n of air. Now for the second question, they ask on the following figure, sketch a ray diagram to locate the portion of the image of the equipment formed as a result of the mirror effect. So they provide you a mirror, the, um, the image of the mirror um, and the equipment and they want you to sketch the, use the red diagram rules to find where the image is located. So for the red diagram we have um, the points, uh, at first I need to figure out where the focal point is going to be. So the focal point, if this is the center, the focal point is going to be right in between um, the mirror and the center of the curvature. So then the, after that, I have the rays. Uh, I'm going to look at three rays. One is parallel to the axis and then through the focal point. So it's going to reflect through the point, focal point. The second one is going to be going through the focal point and then parallel to the axis. And then the third one is going to go um, through the center. And usually when it passes through the center, it reflects back. Let me fix my lines a little bit so the image comes in the right position. So here I have the blue ray um, is parallel to the axis, then goes through the focal point. Then I have the gray ray goes through the focal point and then parallel to the axis. And then the green one is the one that goes through the center and reflects back through the center. So the image is going to be located somewhere in this position. And image is real and inverted and smaller size. And that is exactly what they ask you in the next question. Based on your ray diagram, check the appropriate spaces below to describe the image of the equipment formed by the result of the mirror effect. So the image is um, inverted, the image is real, and the image is um, smaller than the equipment. For the next question, let's look at that, at that one. They say that the archaeologist um, also observes a seahorse located outside the port uh, directly in front of the archaeologist. Due to the refraction of light at the inner surface of the port, 
the seahorse does not appear to the archaeologist to be at its lo actual location. And for um, the question, or the last two questions, they ask you, on the figure above, sketch the ray diagram to locate the position of the image of the seahorse formed by the refraction of the light at the port. And this question is um, can be confusing for some students um, if you didn't pay attention at the beginning uh, what the information was given. So what they give uh, at the beginning of the information that is crucial for this point that we're looking at the, to answer the question is that the port is a spherically shaped uh, with a center of curvature at point C and the radius of curvature R. It is the same as the material that has index of refraction of NW, which is the index of refraction of the seawater, which is greater than the index of refraction of the air. And so in this case, uh, what they want to say is that this is um, the glass of the window that has the same index of the refraction as the water, or in other words, um, it is like one-sided lens with no front side. And based on this picture, the front side of this uh, lens is actually the right side. And the object is standing on the right side of that um, lens. And it only bends um, on the way into the air, but there is no bending when moving from the water to the glass because the glass and water uh, boundaries are the say have the same index. So since it's not a thin lens, uh, the thin lens rules do not apply the same. So we draw two ray diagrams to um, to work out this problem. So the ray diagrams that we're going to be drawing are again as always. First one is going to be parallel. Then through the um, focal point and if this is the center and this is the center somewhere right here then this would be the half distance and this would be the half distance where the focal points are rotate, uh, located so this would be the center on the other side so then I have the rake passing through the fo um, through the focal point but because it is a lens it's going to be going this way because it can pass through the focal point, uh, through the lens. And then for the second one, it has to go through the center. So the second ray is going to go toward the center of the curvature. So it's this way. And it's going to go there and back, so it's going to go in this direction first. And then it's going to be um, appearing, it doesn't bend um, when it passes through the lens. And so when the two intercept, um, there will be an image of the seahorse. So the eye of the observer is going to be on this side looking through the uh, through the window um, that has the same index of refraction as water so you see the seahorse is in the water and then the observer is inside of the uh, submarine and looks through that mirror so he has index of refraction um, as the air and the image um, formed by this um, optical structure or the lens is going to be um, virtual because it is upright so it's upright it is virtual and it is smaller than um, the actual seahorses and that is all i have for this question 2002 ap physics b and uh, thank you for watching if you like the videos subscribe and I hope I see you in my future videos.